up, my friends, all my people. Good morning. Welcome to Monday. Let me straighten this out a little bit. Looking pretty good. You guys are looking fabulous, although I can't see you. Uh, all I can see is my room here. Uh, just in that, just in light a little bit, down a little bit. Timbo is first man in the house. What's up, Tim? Good to see you. Uh, uh, I noticed that your family is posting all kinds of amazing things, hikes and cool houses and delicious food, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I hope you had a spectacular Father's Day. I did, and uh, I think a lot of people did. Uh, those that give lots of love to their families. Oh, uh, yeah, we get one day. What's up with the Grandfather's Day? There isn't that. There should be. Monique, there should be a Grandma Day, Grand Grandpa Day. <sighs> this should be Fireball Day. Eh, every day is Fireball Day, I think, pretty sure. Yep. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, let's uh, make sure I got everything. I got a few things to talk to you about. We're going to get into a, a really cool art talk today. Uh, we're going to get some perspective. Yeah, we're going to get some perspective. Joseph Stone from Australia. Joseph has the Aussie perspective. Uh, which is certainly great. Uh, Joseph, are you the one that was going to send me some uh, Vegemite? Because I didn't, I didn't get anything yet. Although I do know that uh, travel right now or sending crap uh, internationally is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. I just sent some books to somebody in Canada. It's like next door. And uh, it's going to take over a month for those books to get. Freaking crazy. <laughs> What's up with that? Uh, I have my coffee. That's from Canada. Tim's in Canada. Uh, let's get started here. This is Art Talk. Welcome, Lawrence Chef Flinton. That's your middle name, Chef. Uh, it is from now on. And uh, um, uh, this uh, this show, which we've been doing for quite some time now, I don't even know what the what the episode number is, but we're in we're closing in on three hundred episodes, something like that. But uh, we focus on uh, expanding your guys' ability to be creatively successful. And I try to give you tips, tools, and tricks to be able to do that, uh, uh, to apply that to your daily life. This is not something, I don't want to give you something you got to work on for like months and years before you benefit from it. This is something you can apply today. You can apply today. And uh, if you do apply today and you do uh, get some, some good feedback, I got an itch. Then uh, you uh, you you want to share that you want to share that with your friends, your family, your uh, people here on Facebook Live, and uh, Chris Erickson's joined us. Uh, what's up, Chris from the Secret Car Club events? Uh, hopefully, you're still doing some events. I think the attitude out there is feeling pretty good, people. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, I, I've noticed that although there's areas of the country that people are still kind of freaked out, uh, you know, there's uh, there's areas that aren't that are kind of relaxing, a little more chill, went to the park yesterday for Father's Day. Uh, everyone seemed to be having a good time, not too worried about dying, you know, from some, you know, invisible thing. Uh, good morning, Josh from Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Daryl Auckland, who is not from Auckland, I would assume. We do have Australians in the house. So, uh, Daryl, say hi to your fellow Australian, even though you may not be one. I did, but it should have got there by now. Bloody COVID-19 holds up. To, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Joseph. So uh, you're the guy that sent me. I can't say I'm looking forward to it. No, I am. I am uh, just because I want to eat it live and uh, the things I get myself into. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, happy happy day after Father's Day. I got uh, I got a bunch of Father's Day gifts. I got uh, I got this from Kathy. It's pretty cool. Um, I got two which is nice because one would suck. <laughs> you know, you get two and that way you get to wear them. Uh, these are my new hiking shoes. My other hiking shoes are about six years old and they're like homeless person shoes. You know, they're like falling apart, holes in them and all kinds of stuff. I walk through water. I, I kick those shoes' ass if they had one. If shoes had a butt, check out the hiney on that one. <laughs> uh, I got those. Uh-oh, phone fell off the thing. One second, I'm back. Here we go. See, that's what happens when you you insult a shoe's ass and the shoe kicks your phone off the thing. Hey, from New Orleans, Joey Alonzo. What's up, uh, Joey? I hope that things in New Orleans are good, Father's Day and all that stuff. I got a couple of Porsches for uh, Father's Day. <laughs> well, they're not, you know, they're not full-size Porsches. But my son got me a couple of Porsches. 
Uh, these are special edition Porsches Hot Wheels. Uh, this one generally comes only in white. He found it in yellow. Uh, you know, it's pretty rare. And then uh, this is a classic, uh, which is quite nice. Um, I'm a big collector, as you can plainly see. Uh, specific stuff. But these, I wouldn't normally buy these for Hot Wheels because... Uh, you know, you got to be specific, otherwise you end up collecting every single freaking car on the planet. But my son gave me these, so uh, it for Father's Day, and and that's cool. Yeah, uh, thank you, Joey. Appreciate that. Uh, this is Art Talk. Uh, we got some uh, updates going on. I want to give you guys before we get started on today's specific subject, which is how to find the right perspective. Of course, starting up here and ending up down in the depths, down in the depths of uh, of mind, so that we can apply these techniques and things to our lives and kick some serious shoe butt. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm talking about, yeah, easy does it. Relax. Don't knock my phone off again. Shoes, they're temperamental. What are you going to do? Uh, we have our, uh, uh, the next coloring book company. My, my company is Fireball Publishing. We do the world's best coloring books. I can say that. I don't know if they are. I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. I'm going to say they're the world's best. I think they're the best in this solar system. I don't think there's much coming from, you know, Neptune or Pluto. Pretty sure there isn't, you know. But uh, for this planet, I want to say it's the world's best. And we have our next few books on deck that we've decided for the rest of the year. Uh, the next book is our Tony Dow, official Tony Dow coloring book. You know Tony from Leave it to Beaver. He played Wally on Leave it to Beaver. A cool cat. Seriously, cool cat. Uh, very good friend of mine. And uh, we're going to be doing, well, we already are. I have 13 sketches already done for Tony's book. And they're right here in this envelope. I could show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what the sketches are. I'm not going to show you. I'm not showing you. you got to be kidding me. That's not happening. I'm not showing you squat. But August 1st, you're going to see it. You may see some things before August 1st, but not today. Not today. That's that's our, our next book on deck, August 1st. But for September, for September, if you haven't heard, Albert Lum, thanks for joining us. Uh, Chris Moody, what's up? Uh, our next book for September to be revealed at the Buellton Vintage Trailer Bash is Station Wagons. <laughs> Who doesn't want a Station Wagon coloring book? <laughs> um, that, that's just cool. Even if you don't like Station Wagons, you like Station Wagons. So hysterical, that's not even funny. That's the kind of books that we do. Uh, I, you know, the, I grew up with the Mercury Marquis, the Country Squires, uh, 73, right, right around there. I was like eight years old. Everybody had a good life at eight years old, pretty much, unless your parents are hitting you with a stick or something like that, which is not fun. But most part, you know, eight years old, that's a good time. It's when you're playing with Hot Wheels and you're doing all kinds of fun stuff. Yes, long roofs, Greg Gill. Absolutely. Long roofs. Uh, I might even do one that's so long that it extends onto the next page. Hello. <laughs> that would be... I have to write that down. Hold on a second. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Uh, we also uh, coming for Wheels and Waves. Wheels and Waves. July 19th here in Malibu. We are restarting Wheels and Waves. It's going to be a killer show. You know why it's going to be killer? Because it's, it's my show. And that's We have killer shows. But on top of that, we're going to have free Hot Wheels for everybody. But also, we're going to be giving away... 65, for the first 65 people that show up at Wheels and Waves, don't get there at 5 in the morning. Keanu Reeves is not showing up this time, so you don't have to get there the night before. But it starts at 7. You can get there a little bit early. The first 65 people will get a special edition Sunset Malibu coloring book sponsored by Paul Grisanti. Paul Grisanti is our very good friend here in Malibu. He is uh, probably one of the best realtors on the planet, but he's running for city council. Mayor, I don't know. I just think that would be really cool to call my one of my best friends the mayor. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. If I want to get shit done, I just can call, call up Paul and say, hey, root beer in the drinking fountains. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man, it's going to be so fun. Okay, um, I'm currently driving the 2020 Jeep Renegade. It's going to be swapped today for another Jeep. I don't know what it is. Have no idea. It's showing up today, uh, and I'll let you guys know uh, uh, this week at some point. Uh, if you guys have not seen this, I don't know, but the last film that I did as a concept artist was Artemis Fowl. It just premiered on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's good. I know the shit that I did was cool, but you never know how they they take what you do, and then they, they do their version of it, and you hope and keep your fingers crossed. I don't know if any of you have seen it. 
if, if, if you've seen it and it's good, let me know. If it sucks, let's move on. Thomas Rosenbaum. Thanks for watching. Dennis Burnham, what's up, guys? And, uh, and then, of course, we have our latest book, which just came out, which is uh, Camaros. If you're into Camaros and you want a coloring book for your kids or your grandkids, boom, on Amazon. Fireball Camaro coloring book. Uh, and uh, that book specifically uh, benefits, uh, proceeds benefit, part, part, portion of both proceeds benefit uh, Dog Rescue. Dog Rescue from Hope for Paws. Go on Amazon and hit Hope for Paws. And watch some of their videos. It's killer. Those guys are amazing. Those guys are amazing. Let's get into today's subject. Oh, I had one more thing. You got time for one more thing? My, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but my dad wrote three Elvis movies, three original Elvis movies, Roused About, Paradise Hawaiian Style, and Easy Come, Easy Go. And as a result of doing that, he also did the biopic with Kurt Russell. He wrote and produced that. Uh, he collected some Elvis stuff. And I'm, I'm selling some of that Elvis stuff because you know, they're sitting in my closet. What the fuck am I going to do with it? So uh, today, I'm going to be pu putting this up online. This is the Elvis Presley tour, the original pamphlet, probably the only one in existence, from April 24th through May 7th, 1975. It says, a personal and private diary for the sole possession of the TCB crew, uh, TCB group. Do you know what the, T if you, any, any Elvis fans out there know what TCB stands for? I do. Awkward silence. Yeah. Uh, if you know what it is, post it. Uh, any man or woman unauthorized to have this in his or her possession will be violated. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, I'll read you just the first part. Um, Dear Elvis, another successful tourist proved to be one and all that you are the king of concerts, the sultan of stadiums, autocrat of the arenas, and the prince of the paycheck. So, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is all about their tour. So, if you're an Elvis fan, I'll be putting that up. I will definitely get me one of those Cameron, Cameron coloring books. I don't know what a Cameron coloring book, but I know that it probably, you probably meant Camaro, right? Thank you, spell check. I love spell check. <laughs> There's nothing better than, than the, the, uh, the control of spell check. No, I meant to say this. And then they screw it up again. And you can, like, four or five times. Let's get into today's art talk, shall we? Johnny Hot Rod, thanks for joining us. We've got quite a few people today. How to get the right perspective. How to get the right perspective. Here's what's going on in the world, people. I've got two examples of, of things, interesting things that happened to me in the last few days. Uh, number one is that I drove down onto PCH and all these motorcycles were rolling up PCH. And it was for Black Lives Matter. It was, you know, they were got out, you know, spreading the word and doing some good stuff. And they all finished going by. Uh, and then there was a few cars trailing them and stuff, but the lane was open. So I pulled out into the lane, but at the same time I pulled out into the lane, the person in the inside lane decided to um, merge in towards me. And they got really, really pissed because then I got in their way. And they just blared their horn as they rolled around me and got in front of me. Yeah, right? And on, painted on the back of their window was um, promote peace and happiness. Peace and kindness on the back of the window. Okay, so I'm not trying to criticize them. I'm just trying to give you some perspective, okay, on how things are done. Another example that was in the news was the, the woman that, that, that lit both uh, uh, police cars on fire. And she was wearing a peace t-shirt, right? Did you hear about that? Yeah. Now, I may have the story slightly incorrect, but the shirt somehow ended up on Amazon or ended up on eBay. She sold the shirt, and as a result of selling the shirt, uh, the the FBI got a hold of, of who she sell, sold it to, and they traced it back and back and back, and they got finally got to her. And uh, as a result of 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 doing of lighting those cars on fire, she's facing charges of ninety nine years in prison and a five hundred thousand dollar fine at the outset. The smallest ten years in prison, hundred thousand dollar fine. Now, uh, it was a choice. It was a choice. Same thing with a choice here. Now, the right perspective, the right perspective uh, requires us to make conscious choices. Uh, what gets us into trouble is when we make choices and we don't make them consciously. We just choose because we suddenly get this flash of anger or, or uh, uh, irritation, you know, like, like something in your armpit that's crawling there that's not supposed to be there <laughs> from time to time. You know what I'm talking about. You get irritated. 
you get irritated and you say, you say something. You say something when you probably shouldn't have, but you don't know. Then you get some perspective later on. You go like, I, I probably shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have said that. Probably shouldn't have done that. You know, as a result of that, now I'm going to jail for 99 years. Huh. Something to, con to ponder, something to contemplate. I think it's important for us as artisans, as creative people, hold on, coffee, to get the right perspective. You know, and but in order to get the right perspective, you have to understand what is the right perspective. And in order to get the to understand what the, the right perspective is, we have to understand what the perspective isn't. Let's go into that, shall we? Let's decide what the perspective isn't. Um, the the perspective the the wrong perspective is the perspective that only benefits you. That's the selfish perspective. Uh, you go in and you have a conversation with somebody, you go on a date, and you sit down at the bar and the place is rocking, and you spend the next hour and a half talking about yourself. Yeah, from your perspective. The way life is, the way things should be, uh, what's cool, what's not cool. I'm just going to talk about myself the whole time. As a result of that particular perspective, uh, that person is, you know, wants to get out of there as quickly as possible. So the, the thing about having a conversation, it's important. The right perspective in a conversation is, of course, uh, uh, a two-way street where you can talk and they can talk and you can have your opinions and they can have their opinions and you respect that and it's all good, brother. It's all good, right? Emotional intelligence, as Wendy Nystrom Lloyd says. Yes, uh, it's just not something that's common sense to have emotional intelligence uh, because emotions are uh, can flash and heat up very quickly. And intelligence requires you to, hmm, to ponder. <laughs> I'm going to think about what's happening here. <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. So we get in trouble. So the, the wrong perspective is the selfish perspective. The wrong perspective is the perspective that doesn't benefit everyone. The wrong perspective is the perspective that is locked in anger, rage, any kind of negativity is the wrong perspective. The right perspective, and we have to understand why we want to have the right perspective. Mike Levy, who's watching right now, everybody say hi to Mike. What's up, Mike? Good to see you. I'm going to wave at you. I don't know if this works. I clicked it. Hopefully you got a wave. I don't know. The right perspective is the perspective that benefits everyone. Uh, as an example, the reason I do wheels and waves the way we do it is because it's not a Mustang show. It's not a Camaro show. It's not a, a four-wheel drive off-road show. It's not a Chevy 3100 in red show. It's a car show. It's a car show where everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. In fact, not only any car you want to bring, you know, custom car, don't bring a Camry in, right? You know, if you bring a Camry, you're going to park in the back, right? It's a, it's a custom car show. Um, I don't care what color you are. I just don't. I just don't really care uh, if you're black, white, green, purple, yellow, um, multicolored. You know, if you look like a rainbow, I don't really care. Although that would be kind of cool. I'd like to get a picture, maybe a selfie with you. Um, I don't care about that. I'm only, I'm only, uh, um, I, I can't say I'm racist. You can't say I'm, I'm uh, sexist. You can't say, yeah, you have to say I'm assholeness. And, and that's the only thing I, the only problem I have is anybody who is just, is, doesn't want to bring the party. Anybody wants to come and cause a ruckus and they're upset. Uh, we're living in an age of being offended very easily. And uh, you, you come up to me and you say, I don't like your brown shirt. Did you check out my brown shirt? Look at this, tiki. <laughs> um, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, but pe some people out there get, get offended very easily. Very, very easily. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, basically, I'm I'm Jewish, right? I'm also Irish. I'm also American Indian. I'm those three. So I'm a cheap drunk who wants his land back. And I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't care. I don't care. It's, it, it, you know, I want to move forward. I want to move forward. I don't care uh, about being offended. Um, but there's many people that, that are very sensitive right now. Very sensitive. And we have to be sensitive to the fact that they're sensitive. Christina Hoff. But I missed your last name. Sorry, Christina. It went by too fast. Bohemia, uh, Bohemian Lives Matter. That's right, Chris. They do. So we want to promote goodwill. We want to promote peace and love. And that's a choice, people. That's a choice. 
Uh, but most people don't understand that what they promote, what they push out into the world is what comes back to them. They don't get that point. And it's very important to get that point because all the problems that you have in your life, whatever problem it may be, maybe you have a bad relationship with your kids, uh, maybe you have a challenging relationship with your husband at the moment, uh, maybe um, uh, maybe your asshole factor is, is raised onto a full-on pucker, <laughs> maybe, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're, you're experiencing right now that's not working is nobody else's fault. It has nothing to do with anyone else. That asshole down the street, your neighbor, you know, the guy that keeps knocking on your garage door and then running, maybe leaving some poop out of your front door. Those things are, have nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with the vibration that you're putting out. So if you want to change your life for the better and you want to, to look at life from the absolute best perspective, from the highest vantage point, emotionally and mentally, then you need to decide what you want to see. That's the key. You have to decide what you want to see. You can't just randomly see. You can't, well, you can, but then things, light's gonna, gonna raise in suckage and you don't want to do that because uh, I think that's a word in the Webster's dictionary, dictionary, suckage. It's a level of suck, right, that happens that you don't want to experience. You don't want to experience. You want to experience the best possible life today, okay? So as a practical tip today, I want you guys to, to do your best today to think from, uh, as Wendy said, emotional intelligence, uh, to think from the vantage point that what can I do for others today? How can I live life uh, not selfish, selfishly? How can, I, how can I give, right? Now, the interesting thing about Paul Grisanti, uh, our friend who's going to be running for mayor, every time I call Paul, I called him yesterday to wish him a happy Father's Day. That was my intention. And you know how he answered the phone? Fireball, how's it going? What can I do for you today? How many people you know answer the phone that way? Not many, I would assume, right? How about you guys try that today? How about you guys try that? When the phone rings today, how about you say, hi, so-and-so, how's it going? What can I do for you today? How can I help you today? Hmm. How can I make life uh, better for you today? I'm going to think on that for a second. Mm. My coffee is is um, entering lukewarmness, okay? Uh, how can you expand the human experience for someone else? How can you expand it for yourself? Only through the right perspective. Only through the right perspective. Is looking at life as a gift, as joy, as a an experience that you get to have. Not an experience that you're, 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 you're having. You get to have. Treat others as you would like to be treated with respect. Brad, absolutely, that's a very important point. And we can read that in many, many places around the world. But you know that's not as easy as it seems. Because treating others uh, the way you want to be treated requires you to be aware of that idea. Now, the, the difficulty here, the, the challenge is that we are trying to expand our lives in a, in a good possible way. And the only way to do that is through awareness, is through self-realization, is through the realization that, that as we move forward in our life, in this experience that we call life, is that we want to know where we're going. And many of us choose poorly without realizing, well, where I want to go is into an argument with this person, right? I'm going to give this person a piece of my mind. Think about that term, a piece. I'm going to take a piece of mind out and I'm going to give it to you. And uh, the thing about the way society is going right now, currently, is that uh, people, it, it seems, people just want to be right right now. People need to be right. And what does it matter whether they're right or not? Let them be right. Um, if you're against someone in politics, if you're against what's going on in the world, uh, just let it go. Just let it go today. Let the world uh, uh, continue in its tumultuousness. Uh, it doesn't have to be your life. Now, you can choose to go onto Facebook and post a bunch of things that you don't like and be irritated and be offended by uh, bad drivers or, or um, uh, people rioting or, you know, any of the things that's going on 
the truth is, it's really no more than anything else that's been going on. We're just hearing a lot about it because we get a lot of the news and the inundated virus everywhere. <laughs> right? You know, all that kind of stuff is going on. You can let it bother you. You can be afraid. Or you can choose to fix your own life. And wear a brand new pair of shoes. Go for a hike. Check them out. Yo! Got those for Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't mind uh, pimping my wares. Couple of Porsches came in. Yep, I got two Porsches for Father's Day. Kick some ass there. You know, how many How many of you guys have sons that would buy you a Porsche? <laughs> yep, that's what I got. It'd be nicer if I could fit in them, you know, That's but that's a side note. Um uh, we want to add years to our life, right? We want to add years to our life and be stress-free. Well, uh, surprise, people. Stress is not something you experience. Stress is something you choose. Hmm. Contemplate that for a picker. Right? Stress is not something you experience. It's something you choose. You choose to be stressed out. You choose to be stressed over uh, the potentials of the virus coming in and chewing on your, your ankle like a really pissed off Doberman puppy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can choose to be offended by uh, looters going and stealing uh, 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 surfboards or, or lighting things on fire. You can be offended by those things. I'm not saying that if someone knocks on your door and tries to burn your house down, you shouldn't uh, be offended. You gotta take care of business, right? This is what Jesus talked about, turning the other cheek. But when you gotta fight, and you got to kick some ass, then you go kick some ass. But to get online and just whine and complain, you know, it doesn't help. Hey, another Australian has just rolled in the house, Michael Malia. What's up, Michael? We should have a Vegemite party as soon as I get it, as soon as it shows up in the next six months when it when it shows up from Joseph. Thank you, Joseph, for sending that to me. Uh, mm. Once we're once we we can take the time to decide what we want and get clear, then uh, it's time to get busy. Time to get busy. Time to act. Time to uh, to uh, uh, instill massive action into our lives, all right? So today, I want you guys to choose greatness, to choose the right perspective, and to think about what you want for your lives today, and to take steps towards those things, and to avoid uh, taking steps towards the things that uh, decrease life, that uh, create that sense of being offended, uh, that uh, shrink someone's well-being. I want you to expand people. Ask how you can help if someone calls you. Um, and you can and be conscious of helping simply by going to the store and as you go past the checker uh, and uh, uh, they're helping you by running your items through, compliment them. Tell them, you know, Tell them what a great day it is today, how beautiful it is. Tell them uh, how nice that, that, that necklace is that they're wearing. Go out of your way. Practice. Practice. Uh, even if it's uncomfortable. Practice. Steve Gelman. Get out there, and the next time you buy some rocks for your backyard, when you buy those that big bag of rocks that's like 200 pounds, why can't they sell smaller bags? I don't know. Uh, compliment the, the checker as you get out there today, okay? That's what I got for you today. This is Art Talk on Facebook Live. This is where we expand and enhance our lives, creatively speaking, as artisans, as creative people. We are all creative people. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not. Uh, you are. We are all, all, all artists. We all create stuff. It could be creating a pen. It could be creating a Porsche that I can't fit in. Thank you very much. You could be creating a cup of coffee. You could be creating a, an amazing chef dish. Thank you, Chef Lawrence. You can be, create a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Oh, Michael's creating one right now. Everybody, over to Michael's. Get on a plane. We're going to go have peanut butter and banana. It's good. Uh, thank you, Loretta, for joining us. Thumbs up to you. Um, I hope you guys can get out there and uh, enjoy yourselves today. Pick up a coloring book because that's what we do. You know, and uh, Camaro is out, and uh, Tony Dow's coming, Malibu's coming. Once again, Wheels and Waves, uh, July 19th, Sunday morning, July 19th. We're going to be giving away 65 books, not to the one person. Don't come over and try to ask for multiple books. Just just take a book, be happy. Yeah. 
uh, have some coffee, enjoy yourself. And uh, we will see you guys this week online. We're posting all kinds of cool stuff, cool cars, cool adventures. Uh, get out there and do it for yourself. All right, people. Love you all.